Welcome to another Infinite Painter 6 tutorial. In this video I will give you an introduction to the brush editor and will show you how to make your own custom brushes. But first, if your interface looks like this, or this, or this, you may wish to switch to English to be able to identify interface elements shown in this tutorial. In order to create new brushes or to adjust existing brushes, you should learn how to use the brush editor efficiently. Brush editor or brush settings in Painter brings us controls over brush behavior comparable to professional desktop painting applications, but of course this also makes it a bit complicated. I'll try to help you sort it out. What we call the brush editor in Painter is not really a separate environment for creating or adjusting a brush, rather it is a control panel that can, can be kept open while you actually proceed with your painting. This allows you to adjust any brush parameter for a certain fragment of your work without even saving the changes to the brush. You can close the control panel and return to original settings. But of course the brush editor lets you also save permanent changes for a brush for further use. Ok, let's take a look at the controls in the brush editor. In total, in Painter we have about 50 different parameters that control the behavior of each brush. Not every brush uses all of them, but all can be accessed via the editor. The settings are grouped in sections and some of the sections have to be expanded in order to see all the, of the controls. Of course, you will never need to change most of these settings. Ok, there are 8 sections here. Main controls, bitmap sources, brush head controls, texture controls, watercolor controls, jitter controls, dynamics controls and blending controls. The main section groups the settings that are also accessible from the main toolbar. These are the most frequently used. The sources section shows bitmaps that define the brush head shape and the texture that gives the brush internal roughness. You can select other bitmaps from here. Brush section controls behavior of the brush head. Texture section controls how the bitmap texture is applied along the stroke. This is a powerful feature, however brush doesn't have to have a texture at all. Watercolor section adds watercolor effects to our brush. Jitter section adds randomness to the brush behavior, to brush head, to color and to texture. Dynamics section offers controls for stylus pressure, velocity or speed of the stroke and the tilt of the stylus. If you use a pressure sensitive stylus like my Samsung S Pen, you should explore these controls. The curve graphs are very powerful and precise controllers. Of course they require some explanation, I'll cover this in my next video. Blend section controls how the brush interacts with existing colors on the active layer. These settings generally apply to blend mode. Ok, this was the overview of the brush editor. Now let's create a new custom brush. In Painter we can create a new brush in three ways. Let's start from the basic way. I tap on the plus icon and pick create. This is the brush creator. Basically it gives you a number of presets based on real world media. In fact, later you can edit the brush so it doesn't look like the original preset. Note that these presets are not connected to the default brush folders or categories. Here we can set a brush head and add the texture. Remember to name your brush. Otherwise you may end up with another brush named like Custom 17. The name can be changed later. I tap Create and we are in the brush editor. 
Here we can test our brush and change any of the parameters if necessary. Initial parameters are set according to the brush preset that we have chosen in the brush creator. When I'm satisfied with the result, I confirm with the check mark. OK, we have just created a new custom brush. Second way to create a custom brush is to make a copy of any of the brush from your collection. You enter the brush editor, tap plus icon, and name it the copy. Uh, we are still in the editor, but now we are editing the exact copy of the original brush. Well, not exactly the exact copy. To make things a little more complicated, Painter has a number of special brushes that have the internal additional magic. These are Harmony brushes, a few vector-based ink brushes, and a few others hidden in other categories. Unfortunately, these brushes are not marked in any way in current version. A copy of such special brush will not have the same magic as the original. OK, there is also a third way to create a brush. I start with creating a bitmap for a brush head. Then I select a bitmap with any selection tool and use the brush command. And here we are again in the brush creator. I tap create again. Now I can play with the settings and of course confirm changes. OK. In the next video, I'll try to explain one by one what each brush control does. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.